been for that fight? How's training been? How was today? Training's been good. Um, it's nice because versus the other fight, we basically took the first fight on short notice. Um, just outside of being like as short notice as possible, having a little bit of time, you know. But this time we actually have time to prepare. So I'm looking forward to really going through the process and really being able to build and just like honing my stuff and finding myself. So I'm I'm pumped. Um, it's just what should we expect different. from you for this fight? I might look like a whole new person. Like I. Hey, hell yeah, a whole new person. Yeah. That's sick.
has like too many goals and they want to do too many things, how do they figure out like which one to do or do they do all of it? Like how do they choose? Like if they're interested in so many different things, but like you know how we don't have time for so many things, you can't stretch yourself out. Not you? everything at once, you know? Yeah. Um, some goals are going to take a little bit longer to come together and so know that sometimes you just have to wait for things to happen like certain milestones right like like how many people waited until they were 21 you know and then when you get 25 then they're like okay now we're gonna not charge you extra for getting a rental car you know like those are milestone things that you can't speed up right yeah whereas there are other things that you, you know to. might have a shorter time frame where it's like all right your career you might want to try to start that as far as athletics is concerned as soon as possible because then it gives you time to learn and it gives you time to get comfortable and, and get that routine in you know um, right so I think it's not bad to have a lot of goals but it is important to see which goals need to be priority first because they have a time frame attached to them that's true that's true damn they're right so it's like, it's not wrong. It's just, all right, some of this might take a little bit more time. And how do you stay patient when, like, every, like let's say, things aren't going your way or it seems like the more you work, or it's like you don't know if you're getting anywhere. Or like, what do you, how do you, uh, what makes you stay on track even if things are <laughs> falling apart? <laughs> you know? um, that's an everyday battle. <laughs> exactly what's expected you know he wants you to step here he wants you to do this when you step and this this and that and it's like what am I doing you know do I even look like a pro right now and it's like yeah 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 you're just like it's like yeah. those, those those thoughts how do you they creep those thoughts? they creep in um acknowledge them because I think you know sometimes if we try to ignore those things we we shut off an opportunity to deal with them right so if I pretended that it didn't happen I wouldn't be able to handle it right mm -hmm. because you need to face a problem to handle it you can't just ignore it yeah because then you're not solving the problem right and so we we look at it and it's like these thoughts are gonna come you're gonna have those imposter syndrome moments you're gonna have those moments of absolute like delusion in the best possible way of like you know what I got this on lock and then you're gonna have yeah. moments where it's like what am I doing again? I do this, you know, and, and like, does this even work? Yeah. Am I doing this? Is going to help me? And or so not? sometimes like, I look at like documenting things and it's like, all right, like, you know, the videos that we take that might seem like goofy at the time, that's like, damn, like, I really enjoy this. Awesome. And then there's photos that I got from my first fight and I'm just like, like, I really did that stuff. Like, people look at me and they're like, whoa, you did that. And I'm looking at it like, that's. I'm that person in that photo and like yeah. sometimes I struggle with like that's still part of this identity that's still part of who I am yeah you know and so it's like you make sure that like we kind of talked about it a little bit before is like you have a really good team around you and they're gonna help you stay on task you know and but you got to rise to the occasion every morning and so it's like if you don't allow yourself to be available to grow how are you gonna grow right. you know and and so um, what does growth look like messy <laughs> if you were You're to put, a lotus, right? Out of murky waters. I'm just kidding. Yeah, a fucking phoenix, like rising from the ashes, the ashes after you were just like a ball of like absolute fire and flame. Yeah, you know, um, our, it, our bounce, our bounce game is strong. Man, uh, I there's a phrase that I was told: um, rubber bottom. You're supposed to have a rubber bottom, like a bouncy ball. Like a, oh, yeah. So a, when you hit the one. ground, you bounce back up, and it's hard to get momentum if you're stagnant right so right. if you don't try these things if you're not giving yourself an opportunity to try these things how can you bounce back from not moving right 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 like it's like you gotta you gotta like take risks in order to um like you can't be afraid to fall you can't be afraid to fail because it's like those are the things that make you the things that break you are the things that make you they, they build character and, and that's what that's where your power comes from i think yeah. Even though those those days that you suffer alone, and it's like everyone has friends until that one day you're. Uh, you're Sometimes feel, you're you gotta alone. deal with that yeah, shit exactly, alone though exactly. too. That's the hard part. The you're times like, you where were yeah. you, and it's like, 
But no, it's no, like no. Because you were supposed you had to handle to, that. Yeah, yeah, you had to be alone yeah. that time. Heck that's yeah. that's where you heal. Yeah. That's where. And then they come around after you've done that. You're like, that and like <laughs> how you doing? And you're like, not good, but I think I'm okay. You know. <laughs> like, yeah. And so it's 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 a consistent process of figuring it out. And so I would say some days. I feel like I look the role. Some days I feel that I am the role. Mm-hmm. Other days I'm like, who am I again? You know, yeah. and, and and that's part of that like humility piece, but it's not this fake humility of like, oh, where somebody gives you a compliment. And you're like, oh no, no, like not me. It's like, damn, like who the fuck am I? You know, yeah. and, and you're really like looking it's at like, yourself. I don't know what that is. I think it's like a healthy drink. Put some like manly knuckles in here. <laughs>